Hey guys, my name is Diamond Ultra and welcome back to another Worth It video. Now, this is a series where I buy bundles on Dying Light 2 and see if they're worth it. Now, before I get into it, uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to ask everyone to please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these type of videos. It really helps me out a lot. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get started. Now, the original price is 750 Dying Light points and in it, you get an outfit as well as some armor a weapon called the Fire Devil Axe along with its blueprint, a paraglider, and one of my favorite tools, the Inferno. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but let's start off with the outfit. Now here's what it looks like. It's quite nice actually. It's very red, but it also has a nice little guard, I think that's what they're called. It blazes red fire. And you've also got this like nice mask and hood. The mask kind of reminds me of a uh, Star Wars Stormtrooper or something. But anyways, here is what the paraglider looks like. It's, you know, it's quite nice. I, I enjoy it. It's a nice little color scheme. Now up next we have the armor and it's all pretty much the same thing. Damage with two-handed weapons and stamina regeneration, stuff like that. It's just pretty much the same thing. There's not really any difference with the armor pieces and as for how useful it is I'd say it's very useful if you're just starting you know a playthrough or something and you don't have anything else with you but if you've been playing the game for a while this is not really something worth wearing now moving on to the weapon you get it's the fire devil axe and when you first get the blueprint the damage on it is 423 which for new players is amazing but for players who have been playing it for a while, it's nothing really special. But if you decide to upgrade it, I've listed, you know, everything you need to upgrade it, the money, the trophies, the total amount, that's the total amount of what you need to upgrade it fully. You will get it up to 677 with four number of affixes, 400 durability, and two slots for your mods. So, in my opinion, I'd still prefer three, but you know, we take what we can get. And as for the weapon itself, it, it works alright. I'm not really a fan of heavy weapons, but as this one goes, it's quite decent for, you know, new and upcoming players. So I would use this if I was new, but I don't really use heavy weapons, so I can't really tell you. Now lastly, we have the Inferno Accessory. This thing pretty much sets fire to anyone that's a meter away from you and, you know, deals a bit of damage, but it basically stops them from attacking you, which is kind of why I find this useful. Now, unfortunately, you can't buy the upgrades to this. You actually have to, you know, earn it. But thankfully, you don't need to use this to upgrade it. You can just, you know, have it in your inventory and get combat XP. Now, I haven't fully upgraded it, but as you can see on screen, it's upgraded quite a bit and quite useful honestly after using it for a while I probably still use this you know like as a regular player so yeah that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed and if you did please leave a like leave a comment and if you find yourself coming back why not subscribe I mean you're coming back anyways but anyways that's all and I hope to see you in the next video peace